Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is we trigger each other a lot. If you have been in coupling dynamics, in a relationship, dating, uh, you will notice that at some point or another, either you or your partner enters into uh, what we can call trigger mode. So we have to understand really what a trigger is. You have a certain energy reality in your system with mind frames, beliefs. You uh, have certain expectations of how life is supposed to look like. Let's take the example, for instance, you are in your kitchen and uh, somebody comes into your kitchen and starts washing the sink or doing something in the kitchen that upsets you or irritates you because they are not doing it in the proper way, the way you would like them to do it. So you are going to enter into a light trigger zone. You might be like, uh, I have to get out of here. It, it irritates me the way you are doing it. There is something about it that I cannot take. So what's happening at that moment, I know the, the example is a little bit trivial, but it's good to simplify so that we really understand what's happening there. There is your reality and then there is another reality of what is actually physically happening. So those two realities conflict, they clash in your field, in your system, and that clash creates a friction inside of you. You have a certain expectation, a certain belief that things should be happening in a certain way, and they are not, okay? So the conflict between reality and your expectations don't match. This is where the conflict happens. So, for instance, um, you might be out with your partner, right? And your partner starts a conversation or starts talking about something, a topic that doesn't interest you. What is going to happen at that moment is they are throwing a certain energy reality in your field and you don't want to deal with that. So that energy reality, the topic that they are covering, it might be a topic like politics or spirituality, which are like trigger topics. They are throwing that into your field and you go like, ah, oh, it pisses me off, it irritates me, it annoys me when you talk about that topic. So why do you get triggered again? Is because there is this reality that is being uh, thrown on you and is conflicting with your expectation or your mindset. So what is really happening is the conflict between two energy realities. The trigger, what we call trigger, is this conflict zone between what you want and what is actually happening. So, there are a few things that you can do about that. The first one is discover internally, stay present with the trigger. You're like, why am I so irritated by that? Where is the place that it activates some form of wounding or some form of uh, discomfort? It's a topic or it's something, it's an action, it's something that is going on that I don't like. Okay, so the first thing is to really understand these triggers and the way you want to do it is, you know, stay present with it. Instead of reacting when something is happening that creates discomfort, you're going to be witnessing and you go like, wow, interesting. I'm really overreacting to something that is not that important. Why am I so overreactive to it? That's the first thing. The second thing, if there is something that is real, for instance, your partner is doing something that has potentially is potentially dangerous or is potentially you know breaking things in the house or is doing something that is going to negatively affect your relationship or preparing a dish with ingredients that are you know bad or uh, outdated you know so there might be all sorts of moments where actually it's a good option to actually speak to your partner and educate them. Or there might be situations where it's an option for them to step into the space and try to educate you or direct you on something that you're doing. So when that happens, then you have to do it in a way that is really healthy, not charged. Again, you create a little container there where it's safe to share. Are yeah, you open for some feedback? I see you doing that and I just want you to know there is something there that you are doing that I don't think it's the best way to do this. Are you open for some reflection, for some feedback? So in a relationship, ideally, you have space to offer each other reflection and to modify uh, behaviors. Okay, so 
educating, understanding the triggers, understanding the trigger dynamics, another strategy is to learn how to navigate your life if you are the one with a, a big amount of emotional triggers coming into your field, learn how to navigate life with greater flexibility, emotional flexibility, emotional fluidity. So what does that mean? It means that you drop it. You learn how to drop it when there is something that is irritating you, that is not happening according to what you want. You just look at it and you say, I'm going to let go of that because otherwise I'm going to start a fight with my partner and I'm not interested. And honestly, it's not a big deal. The way the towels are being folded right now, I can deal with the fact that it's not perfect. Okay, I can deal with it. I can I internally let it go because I'm not that attached to things being exactly a certain way. So when you notice that there is a certain degree of imperfection according to what you want, the idea is this. You are going to navigate it a little bit like a dance, like a ninja. You feel the trigger building up in your system and you consciously decide to drop it before you even throw something at your partner before you even speak you look at it and say wow i'm really triggered right now and then you you shift through emotional flexibility through emotional fluidity to a different state of being you reframe what's happening right now that thing that is triggering me right now is t completely not important it's completely irrelevant Okay, it's more important to be in harmony than to be right. Your partner might have said something that is not true, or they might have said something that triggers you or irritates you, and you go consciously, you go like, you know what, right now I'm going to consciously decide to be in a state of peace, celebration, harmony, rather than entering into fight mode. Okay, you get that? It's really important to understand these dynamics because a lot of what's happening within that context, it's an art. It's not something that is fixed. It's not like you have a linear pathway from A to B to C. You can develop uh, an art form. It's a little bit like, again, like martial arts. It's a little bit like being a ninja. If you feel like there is an attack, a trigger, potential trigger zone, you are entering into the trigger zone, you go like, uh-uh. I'm not going there. I'm going to stop myself and hold it. And uh, if it's your partner who is getting triggered, you know, the same thing. Instead of entering into responsive mode, you just listen. You go like, wow, interesting. You seem to be really angry right now. And I'm just going to be here. No, I'm not angry. You say, okay, you're not angry. And then you let them rant, you let them go without engaging into that battle together. So when the trigger wave is catching you, you know, you have this shadow wave, this shadow attack that comes on your relationship. You look at it and you consciously decide not to catch that wave and shift to harmony instead. So those tactics are really important. Another thing that you can do is you notice the trigger, you notice that there is an invitation to fight and then you dive into it. Then you go like, okay. Let's have a good fight about that. And for most of you, you might be like, oh, no way. I had way too many fights with my partner already. I'm not interested into that. But sometimes, here's the thing. It is that sometimes entering into intensity with your partner might be extremely beneficial. I'll do another set of videos on that. This is called Master Your Shadows or Shadow Mastery. Entering into shadow gasms through fight gasm. Okay, That's another topic. Right now, it might be a bit too much for you to, uh, to dive into that. So I'm not going to... Uh, to enter into it. So right now the you know the the, um, the strategy that we are trying to implement are really you know de-escalating fights, bringing things down so that you can have a happy life. You come back home after a day of work. It's not like entering into battle mode and conflict. Okay. I hope that makes sense. I'll see you soon for another video.